Hey everybody. How's everybody doing out there in the uh, RC community? Today I am going to show you what it looks like when you have a motor that has gone out or is just about to stop working on your Yizan Tarantula. I'm going to show you how to replace it and I'm going to show you some quick uh, little method to try to keep your motors from wearing out near as fast. But anyhow, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and bind this up. Still have all my motors. If you notice, one of them is stopping a lot faster than the rest of them. It's not getting as much power. That is likely going to be your motor that's going out. If it hovers, and it won't hover much higher, move up quickly, uh, that means you likely have a motor going out. The rest of the motors are trying not to spin as fast because they're trying to spin at the same speed as this one to keep your quadcopter level. The gyros won't allow this one, or won't allow these to spin as fast because this one is not going to be able to keep up with those. And this is what it's going to look like when you try to fly. As you can see, it has a very bad drift. It's trying to fly, but this one motor here just does not have the power it needs to keep going. Anyhow, let's get to the motor repair. In order for you to change this motor, you have to take your prop off. In order to unbolt the motor, or unscrew the motor, there's two little screws in the bottom, you have to take this gear out. And the only way to get the gear out is by taking the prop off. So we're going to start by taking off the prop here. Sorry, that's a terrible sound. All right. Is that out enough? Well, not quite. A little bit more. There we go. Screws out completely. It's always a good idea to keep a magnet around when you're doing stuff like this. That way you can uh, have some place to put all your screws without losing them. All right. Prop is off. You just push with your finger here. Slide the gear with the shaft right out of the middle comes right out of there no problems at all set that down now you've got to take off your motor cover get your motor cover off there's one screw here go ahead and put that on my magnet so I don't lose it check to see if it's a different size which it is just a little bit different don't get those mixed up take out your other screw since there are two of these, it will be hard to mix them up because you'll have two of the same one that's different. There's the other one. Put it on there. Pull your motor cover off very, very easy. All right, now you've got your motor exposed here. If you uh, gently pull on these wires, you can pull out and see that this is a plug, which is very handy for these. So you've got your plug there exposed. Go ahead and turn it over. You've got one screw here, and then you've got a hole. If you look down in there, I don't know if you can see that or not with this camera. Another screw just on the other side. Same positioning, just the other side. So take out this screw. These are very, very small little screws, so don't lose those. And it helps to have a, a screwdriver that's slightly magnetized on the tip. And if yours is not and you do have a magnet, just, well, I lose my screw. Just kind of a... Uh, do that with your screwdriver. It'll magnetize the tip of it at least for a little bit, long enough for you to get this project done. Because this next screw is down in here, and the only way to put that back in there is by sticking it on the end and sliding it down in there to get to where you need to go. Because you can't get your fingers down in here. But you can see inside there. There's a little screw inside there. I don't know how well that is coming through on camera. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Alright, that screw did not want to come out of there but it is loose. If it's still sitting in place, just make sure you don't dump it down. Make sure you don't dump it down inside of your quadcopter. It will be a real pain in the butt to get out of there. So I'm going to push it down on this motor a little bit. Now that it's unscrewed, you can see that screw there. Push down on the motor a little bit more. The motor comes right out. Just like nothing. These are my replacement motors. 
purchase them from GearBest. They cost me about eight dollars. I'm sure you can probably still purchase them for roughly around ten dollars for a whole set, which is a pretty good deal. Two dollars for one of these motors, and will last you quite a while on these quadcopters as long as you don't get too crazy with them. All right, that motor is out. You simply pull the plug apart. Here's your bad motor. It even sounds bad. You can you can hear something in there just sounds loose. It's the new motor. Make sure you line up your plugs right. See so you got the holes towards the bottom. The pins are towards the bottom. So you know to plug it in that way. Oops, I'm shaking here. It's a little cold outside today. Alright. New motor is that is plugged in there. That's good to go. Now if you uh carefully since I just have that screw just sitting in there it could fall out carefully don't turn it over completely if I had that screw completely out it would be easy to turn it over but I don't want to drop that screw down into the body here that can seriously cause some issues and that's how you tell your different motors black and red wires and then you have white and black wires I'm assuming I have the right motor because the my, these wires are matched up I hope I am not mistaken I will find out and I'll have to take it apart if I am wrong but I think this is how it's done. Do you believe they just match the color coding of your motors? All right, so you want to slide your motor back up in there. Make sure it's all the way up against there since my screw is still sitting inside there. This is going to be easy. I won't even have to reach through here. Just make sure I line up my screwdriver to the screw down inside there and screw it back down in there. Get that one screwed down in there. Find your other tiny little screw I would suggest since it's so small it's going to be hard to hold on to to just set it on the end of your screwdriver like that as long as you have it slightly magnetized it won't come off of there and screw that one back into its place Which for some reason it does not want to go there it goes thread it in there now make sure these are snug you don't want to tighten them too much because this is plastic in here you try to crank down on this you might break the plastic or strip the screw you strip the screw and your next re replacement may not be very easy all right make sure you take your wires and tuck them back down inside the body a little fidgety here but it's being a little stubborn Nothing's hooked up, so it should be alright to poke this down in there. Alright. Make sure they're down in there far enough to where your motor cover will go back over it. A lot of traffic. Lots of loud cars. Hope you can hear everything I'm trying to tell you. Alright. Now that you got your wires tucked back down in there, Everything's plugged in. Set this on here. All right, get that on the end of your screwdriver there. Carefully drop it down into the hole. Screw this one down. Make sure you're not pinching any of your motor wires. They all look clear. Everything looks lined up. Let's go ahead and put this one in since your motor is right here you might have issues with it grabbing onto your screw because it has magnets in it so these may be easier dropped in by hand just kind of slide it right down in there that way the motor doesn't grab it off the end of your screwdriver tighten that one down same case with these make sure they're just snug you don't want to torque them down this is all plastic you will strip out the plastic or possibly break plastic okay only got this one screw left I've got my uh, gear that I need to put back in here now and pretty simple you just take the gear and you slide it right in through that hole again all the way back up through there line up the teeth so it actually goes up in and meshes with the gear on your motor it is meshed now. This is the tricky part when it comes to the tarantula, putting these props back on. 
It's not an easy thing. This one seems to have a slight crack in it, but it should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and use the same one. And when you put this on here, you have to line up these holes. So whenever you slide it down, your holes are going to be lined up. Because finding the hole in there is really tough. And if you stop and you look, I don't know if you can see through there with the camera or not, but you can line up the hole and see all the way through. There's light. Same thing with this one. Hopefully your screwdriver's still got a little magnetism left. Put that right there on the end of your screwdriver. Slide it into the hole. Tighten it back down. Don't torque these down either because this one will strip out very easy also. Alright, motor's in there. It seems to be lined up and in place. One Yzan Tarantula motor changed. It is good to go. Next thing I wanted to show you was a little trick that I used when I first got these motors. I only used it one time when I first got the motors. Probably should have done it more often. Um, this is a uh, extra finely powdered flake graphite. So it's graphite powdered graphite dry lubricant, basically. To prevent wear and rust. So what this does is it he actually helps lubricate the inside of your end. keeps your brushes from wearing out as fast. So whenever you're flying like an idiot like I like to do with this thing, you're going to burn up some motors. It's just going to happen. Um, this will help slow down the motor burning out. And I would suggest probably a good idea to put it in there maybe once every 10 flights instead of uh, once when you first get it like I did, which my motors still lasted a lot longer than they should have considering the way I do drive it. All right, anyhow, you put a little bit on there, get you a little bit on the end of a flathead screwdriver, turn your quadcopter up, take it right here in this little hole on the side of the motor, and dump it in there. And get it circulated around in the motor. Spin your motor around a little bit. Scoop out a little bit more. I like to put a little double dose in each, in each side here. A little bit more, kind of knock some of the excess in there. Spin your motor around. Make sure it's in there nice and good. These motors are supposed to take a break in time. I already think that has already made it sound much smoother just by putting that in there. <clears throat> Blow off some of your excess because you just don't want this stuff everywhere. And it will get everywhere. It is a powder. And you should be good to go now. It is spinning counterclockwise, which is right. That is the right motor, so I'm assuming the wires are color-coded on the other ones. Red and black and white and black. Let's see if she gets airborne. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. And there you have it. That is how to easily change the motor on your Yizan Tarantula X6 quadcopter and how to tell if it is bad. Very simple fix. I'm glad they made these motors nice and convenient. Thanks for watching. If you found this informative, please subscribe. And everybody have a great day. See you all later. This is Quad Flying Mav.